Anyway, um, if you're a fan of Doc Martin, Manhunt, uh, Manhunt or Men Behaving Badly, you'll recognise the very special visitor to a riding stables in Birmingham. Yes, Martin Clunes has been to see how Summerfield Stables in Hall Green is helping hundreds of local children and families. Sarah Kilburn Wilson was there as well. For 50 years, Summerfield Stables has helped children and families ride out their toughest challenges in life. Single mum Malika and her four children ride here every week, but she'd previously given up as she didn't feel accepted. I was not always comfortable with wearing my hijab on every yard. When I came here, I just immediately said, like, you know, I'm, I wear my hijab, I have my longer skirt, is it, is it okay? And they were like... It's not even a question. This place, for me and my children, it improves our mental health. We live in a flat, so we don't have a garden. And this gives us the space to kind of breathe. And also what you see is that the children, they, um, they, get, they get responsibilities. Summerfield provides hands-on experience on the ground and in the saddle for families and young people from all backgrounds with the aim to increase confidence and leadership skills through working with horses. We're trying to be kind and very often the world isn't, and particularly the sport, sporting world sometimes isn't, and we just want to make it accessible to everyone. We have a huge waiting list at the moment of families trying to come, but sometimes it's children with disabilities, sometimes it's uh, children who've been excluded from school. A new face on the yard today was star of ITV's Doc Martin and president of the British Horse Society, Martin Clunes. He saw just how ponies and people are helping each other. I've seen it with my own daughter growing up. They get, they get so empowered by hanging out with horses, and especially in a stable. They'll, they'll know every horse's name and its quirks and what's wrong with it and what's right with it. And it just gives them... Uh, a sense of self-worth, I think, amongst other things. They do an awful lot of things for an awful lot of people, horses. They don't judge anyone. Um, and they have needs, sort of, that, that uh, they'll put before yours every time, you know, which are good life lessons. I've suffered with anxiety for quite a while, and I always used to struggle going out, but since coming down here a lot more, it's helped a lot with, like, socialising with people. When, when I was five, I got diagnosed with ADHD and bipolar, so I find it hard to focus in like class. So I was like really naughty in school and stuff. But when I found this, found some of field stables, it happened to kind of chill out a bit. I've been here for five years, and I think the main thing I love about it is how it's made me grow as a person. Because when I was first here, I was just not as confident as I am now. I found this place in the middle of the lockdown when restrictions were kind of easing a little bit and since then it's been a safe space and just you know a really nice place to just escape. There's 26 rescue horses here. That's a lot of mouths to feed, costing £20,000 every year and the yard relies on grants and funding to keep it going. It feels really nice that it's so special to so many people and that we're able to offer and share that with people. And that just that's, I think, what drives us and keeps us motivated even when times are really cold <laughs> and things are really tough. Sarah Kilburn-Wilson, ITV News, Birmingham. <laughs> Great to see them making such a difference to people as well. And Martin Clunes, not related to that story, but his voice is like the most calming voice. Yes. Yeah. Could listen yeah. to it all evening. He's a real animal lover, isn't he? Yeah. He loves his horses. Really good.